What's up, you guys? It's your boy Turn Oblivion, aka the Black Salamander. Today it's time for an Oblivion breakdown. Woo! Today's breakdown will be based on the new fairy tale series, which will be aired this April 5th, 2014. Before I begin, my boy Nasu is back in action like never before, not to mention with the rest of the fairy tale members. It's about to go down. The hype be too real. It's just too real for the non otakus Like, real talk. It's too real. <laughs> Fairy Tail is making a comeback in their television series. It's been a good long year without hearing any spectacular news about the anime coming back to light. But, 2014 said it's time we get the fans what they really want. The story will probably begin where it left off on episode 175. The battle between Nasu and the Twin Dragons, Sabretooth, one and only Stinging Rogue. The gang is back to reach the top after a seven year disappearance, only to be shocked that their guild was dropped dramatically to the food chain, making them the lowest guild in the land of magic. But you already know, things are about to come to a close again for that sad ending. Nasu, Lucy, Happy, Gray and Ursa, along with their friends who was also frozen in the seven year disappearance, is now ready to make a stand as they go up against the power of multiple guilds in the Grand Magic games. But, like always, Fairy Tale is ready for whatever challenge that, that they must face. The story is pretty. I, I, like always, come on. The story is leading up to the chaotic battle against a secret that was hidden to everyone in the land of magic that was based on. The arena where the Grand Magic Games was taken. So, the anime will most likely be covering Fairy Tale Volume 36 all the way to 39, which means it'll go it'll go from the continuous Grand Magic Games arc all the way to the Eclipse Cannon arc. So, pretty much, we're gonna have more action, humor, drama, romance, while going deep into the plot. Not that type of plot, I'm talking about the story type plot. <laughs> anyway, the designs for the characters blew me away because it reminded me of the fairy tale movie, The Phoenix Priestess. I'm glad they made a change because it's time for new development. Not to mention, the designs were made by the same designer of the anime, Gitama. Shocker. Ain't that a shocker? <laughs> but anyway, like I said, the, the graphics, like, the designs. The designs remind me of the fairy tale movie. Like it really does. So lively. It's so lively. It blow me away. So nonetheless, it's fairy tale. I'm the black salamander. And you already know I'm down for my guild members from Florida to all over the world. All the clues take over the world, people. Everybody should know this by now. The hype is real. The action is at its greatest heights. So be sure to give Fairy Tale a chance when a new series come out. Though I suggest those who haven't seen Fairy Tale hurry up and watch it because the new series is coming. Y'all should notice by now. April 5th, 2014. Please watch the you know the first the beginning of Fairy Tale before going to the new series. Cause like you gonna be fucked in the head. Unless you read the manga, then yeah, you good. But, you know, if you ain't either read the manga or watch the anime, yeah, you kind of fucked up. <laughs> but anyway, this is your boy Turtle Oblivion. I'm signing out. Peace, niggas. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for your boy. Ain't that right, Happy? I <laughs>